What's up, Chemical Guys and Girls? It's Jason, Chemical Guys Newbie, here for another newbie edition. I don't have my car today. It's in the shop. I got a rental. The leather looks kind of gross. I'm gonna enlist Henry to help me out and figure out what we need to do to clean up this leather and make it look sparkly. Let's get to it. He doesn't know much about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's asked lots of questions about everything so we can learn all there is about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a Chemical Guys Newbie. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's a chemical guy's new. Yeah. What's up, guys? We're back in the garage. I've got Henry here. What's up, guys? And um, what, Henry, what are you wearing? Don't mind that. Those are my detailing shoes. You got. If you get inside the customer's car, you don't leave your footprints in there. So perfect. Let's get back into <laughs> this video. All right. Here's a great thing anybody could take either whenever they get a rental or they have a they're borrowing a car from someone, we always recommend is clean out at least the inside. You never know what they have. They might have body oils, they leave lotion behind, they might have a spill. You don't know where this car has been, right, Jason? Uh, yeah. So how would you like it if you get inside a dirty car? Well, I'm a little worried because I already drove it here. <laughs> but I guess we should clean it and move all the stuff out of here. Right? All right, so today I'll be showing you guys and Jason how to probably clean leather, especially because it's white and a lot of people out there comment down below, does leather cleaner work on white leather? Today, I'll be showing you guys and Jason how to clean it properly on perforated and non-perforated leather seats. So on any detail, whenever you come into contact with any detail, whether it's your car, a customer's car, you always need to do this, is you get a plastic bag and you're going to put all their belongings inside a bag because whenever you come into contact with a car, you don't know if this is very valuable to them. So it's just best to put inside a little bag and whenever the, the customer asks, Hey, did you see my hat? Or hey, did you see this? Yeah, I put it in your trunk, get it out the way, and they're gonna grow a little bit more trust with you because they don't know you're not stealing from them, so. With touching stuff like this, should you technically be wearing gloves? Yes, but in this occasion, it's Jason's car, I trust him. All right, and it's my stuff, so. And it's, it's your like... stuff, exactly. <laughs> this, this is clearly for demonstration purposes only, but. If it's not, your car, your vehicle, and it's super dirty, wear gloves. If it's not? Yeah, if it's not your car, definitely wear gloves. Yeah, exactly. Definitely wear gloves. Because you don't know what they've been through, if it's body oils. There's also shoes in here. Should I wear these as my detailing shoes? I mean, <laughs> I feel like your detailing shoes are way cooler than those. <laughs> Put it in here. Jason, you have a mess in here. I think you need a Camel Guys trunk organizer or a Camel Guys polishing bag. Probably. Throw, so. all, throw all that in here. Bam. It's our brand new polishing bag. Pick it up on our website right now, camelguys.com, before they sell out. Oh yeah, this is the Arsenal polishing bag. You got all this cool stuff in here. You can fit all your products. Clearly there's some, what would you call this? What's the technical term, schmutz? Smears. Smears, yeah, smears, smears and schmutz. So we have, it looks like someone's body oil. Someone was sitting uh, on here and these elbow, 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 elbow grease. So you need to remove that. We're gonna start off with the driver's seat because the driver's seat, I believe, gets the most traffic because it is a rental. And who knows what, who has been in here. First off, we have our workhorse microfiber towels. They are tan. We always recommend color coordinating as you go. So on our demonstration videos, we sometimes use yellow on the interior. That is just for demonstration purposes. But for anybody, especially our newbie behind the camera, it's always best to color coordinate everything so you won't cross contaminate. If I use my green towels for waxes, I don't want to use my waxes on my leather because leather and wax don't mix. So we're gonna be color coordinating with our, our tan workhorse towels. And then we're gonna be using our leather conditioner to condition its leather because this leather is shiny and we don't want it to be shiny. We want it to be more of a satin finish. Okay. And to clean it off, we're gonna be using leather cleaner. So leather cleaner is a pH balanced superior cleaner that cleans any leather, whether it's orange, white, black, purple, green, any color you might have, we always recommend testing it in a conspicuous area, then moving on if you love the results. What about yellow leather? The yellow leather. What good. about velvet leather? What? Let me think. <laughs> Covered. Covered. Okay, cool. And then to do the agitation, we'll be using our horse hair brush. It's very soft, very gentle. It is not going to... You like that? That's nice. You like that, <laughs> That's huh? That's nice. It's very nice. It's very soft, very gentle, so it won't deteriorate any leather when you're scrubbing it back and forth. And then... Finally, we're gonna be using our microfiber applicator, which is a tan as well, Dope. for leather conditioner. I'm noticing here that this has like two types of leather. There's like a regular smooth leather and then there's this perforated um, section here, I guess. How would you clean it? 
I see this is a spray bottle. I would assume I just spray the leather directly and then wipe it off with a microfiber towel, but something tells me that's incorrect. Yes, that is incorrect, but you're also correct. Oh, so okay. it's 50 50. I agree to you as a C. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. No, but it's, it's correct because uh, if you have non perfect leather seats, like so, like right here, mm -hmm. you're perfectly fine to spray down the seat. Okay. But then if you have perfect leather seats that has holes in them, you want to avoid any overspray because you, the liquid might get inside the holes and it might clog them. Mm. There's perforated and non perforated leather seats, so whenever you clean this combination, we recommend getting leather cleaner spraying it directly onto your brush. Be very, very generous because this leather seat has seen a lot of traffic. Then just gently scrub it back and forth. Do not apply any pressure. Just let the brush do its work. And you're going to remove everything off the leather seat. I'll get a clean microfiber towel, wipe in one direction, just to remove the suspended product. Removing the body oils, lotion, sunscreen, whatever might be on your leather. We'll do the top part in the montage. Let me know if you want to borrow the detailing shoes. Oh, we might have to incorporate that somehow. Oh, and Henry knows his shoes, that's for sure. This guy's always got the best kicks. Yeah, can't you see? They're furry today. <laughs> leather conditioner is a water-based dressing that's going to go on very smoothly to a leather, any type of leather, any. <laughs> so you're gonna get leather conditioner, shake up the product before using it. You'll get a microfiber applicator and then you already know me, Jason. I love detailing. With a happy face. Look at that. Look. Happy oh! face detailing. I got it perfect a this smile time. smile on your detail. Should I get my eyebrows? Okay. Yeah, but anyways. Do the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so now that your leather conditioner is on your applicator, you do not want to go directly onto your perfect leather seats. You Why? Want to, because you do not want to clog it. Oh. So. Just grab your finger. If you have a glove or by hand, just smear it on here. Like this, you get a oh, perfect even face. spread all over your applicator. It's still going to be moist and lubricated. Okay. So now we can't apply a very, very high spot to this leather. So the reason for that is because if you were to place that directly on the seat, it would basically just get smushed right into the okay, into so those just holes, <laughs> into the perforations. Yep. Correct. All right. So now it's smeared on my applicator. I'll go to my leather. I'll blotch it out and just work it in back and forth. And this is a great product to use on any type of leather. It smells good too. It smells just like leather. It's going to keep your leather from cracking, fading, or even discoloring because it has UV protectant. Oh. Another cool thing about it is, Jason, if you sit in here right now, yeah. you're not gonna be sliding around like a little salamander. It's gonna be dry to a touch. What? Dry to the touch. Ooh, it's it dry that. to the touch, smells great, and nonetheless, it's protected. Hmm. So with these two easy steps, we cleaned it, and we protected it. Two steps. Now two step method. Two step method. Do the two step. Do the two step. We cleaned it, we protected it, it looks great. It's not shiny anymore compared to up here and the passenger seat. So if you have dark color leather, tan leather, burgundy leather, give me a color. It's cerulean. It's cerulean color. And if it's shiny, you need to clean it up. This leather is not supposed to be shiny. You never want to have shiny leather. We want the glare to not be there. Exactly. That's, okay. Glare not to be there. Just, yeah, belt it out, man. So we're gonna give the people what they want. They want 50-50s. They always comment down below saying that we only clean, clean cars. And if you guys do not agree with me that this leather is filthy, then something's wrong with you. So there's already smears already on here and we, we need to remove it safely and easily as possible, especially because it is a rental. <laughs> Just get my tape, I'll tape it up down the middle. Excuse it, if it's crooked, I am not perfect. So we're gonna be doing the same exact steps as we did in the front seat. You grab your leather cleaner, mm -hmm. you grab your horsehair brush and you'll scrub it side to side. Just let the cleaner do it, the work. Do not apply any pressure. We always recommend allowing the cleaner to do the work. The more pressure you apply on it, it's not going to do anything. The cleaner is going to do it all by itself. So just agitate it side to side, up and down. And now I'll get a microfiber towel and I'll wipe it off in one direction. And let's reveal the 50-50. Oh, holy. You can that see. That is, okay, so that is way dirtier than it even looked. Like, I know. Even the, the right side where it didn't have those splotches is just it's dirty. 
completely so black. You it, didn't, you couldn't tell that the leather was super dirty. It looked clean to me. It looked super clean because yeah. you're like, oh, it's a newer car. The leather should be clean, correct? Yeah. So over time, you get used to seeing this. So this looks normal to the eye, the human eye, because you don't know how it once was. You forget. Yeah. But if you constantly stay maintenance in it or you clean up any leather, whether it's black, tan, aluminum, aluminum, <laughs> black, tan, cerulean, cerulean, your leather is bound to get dirty, especially because you have denim jeans, you have shorts, you have any, any type of wear, you go to the gym, you put your gym bag right here in the sweat. So all of that is just going into your leather. So we recommend always constantly to clean up your leather to avoid this. Man. All right, so I guess what we'll do now is clean the rest of the stuff, the armrests, the side panels of the doors. I mean, every, any piece that has leather on it, essentially, right? Like, essentially, yeah. I don't, don't know go why crazy I'm not in here. Anything that has leather, clean it with leather cleaner and leather cleaner. So we're gonna go do that now and uh, enjoy the montage. What happened here, Henry? What did I do? So Jason just finished cleaning off the seat. It looks phenomenal. But one thing that I told you, including you, Jason, including the viewers, do not cause overspray. Oh, newbie, newbie mistake. <laughs> newbie was exposed. Look at that. All that is overspray got on the paint, they got on the rubber seals, and they got on the interior. Oh my gosh, newbie move. Don't worry guys, if the leather cleaner lands on your paint, your interior, or your rubber seals, just get a microfiber towel. Wipe it right off in one direction, and you're good to go. But if you do forget to wipe it off, it can cause water spots. Mm. What should I have done? Sprayed it outside of the car? No, earlier. so you had the correct technique. You're going. <laughs> you're doing all that, and it's a great technique, but the pro spray up close and personal. Okay. Then I get over spray. Versus you, you were like Leather Bay. <laughs> That's what you did. So we always recommend coming up close and personal and squirting it. No okay. overspray. Compared to Jason spray. Yeah, well, I get the point. I get the point. Like Henry said, don't be spray bay, all right? Because you're going to get a mess on the glass on your paint, on everything. If you do, it's okay. We'll just wipe it off with the microfiber, right? And uh, hopefully that should be okay. Yeah, this is just unnecessary extra work that I'm giving myself to do on this detail. So listen to the pros, I'll spray up close and personal. We learned today how to clean leather, all types of leather, all cerulean colored. leather, orange leather. Maroon, red. Blue. Doesn't matter yellow. what color. Doesn't matter what color. Doesn't matter if it's vegan either. Ooh, vegan leather works. Synthetic, vegan. That's great. So grab your leather cleaner, spray it close. Up close and personal. Up close and personal onto a brush. Brush your leather. When you're done with that, wipe it down with a microfiber towel. Grab your leather conditioner. Correct. Put a smiley face or whatever shape you'd like onto your microfiber exactly. applicator. Um, if it's perforated, work it in with your finger. If not, you can apply directly to Correct. the leather. That wraps up this video. If you guys like this video, give us a fat thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what the next montage should be. 
because you know we're running out of ideas here you, or, I, um, or let's stop right here okay everybody likes truck videos right correct should yeah. we let the camel guys newbie attack the water spots that i just got on my truck oh if you think that i should attack henry's water spots that on sounds my truck. dirty that sounds dirty but we're gonna make it clean Exactly. Stop by your local detail garage, pick up any of these products you saw in this video, or hop on our website right now, chemicalguys.com. Search up the product right there, a little search bar, just type in leather cleaner or leather conditioner. That's right. And it'll take you directly to the product and you can pick it up there. Get it delivered straight to your doorstep with the manager. And that's it. You're going to be the new delivery guy. Don't be a spray bay. Make sure you get up close and personal. Yes. <laughs>